Adejumo. And I've been married for over 35 years. I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, I'm a marriage counselor, and I'm a certified life coach. Yes, I'm a British certified life coach. And today I'm starting Dear Husband. And it is going to be a monthly podcast on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. And I'm so excited that you have decided to be a part of it. Thank you so very much. Globally, in nearly four decades, that's between 1970 and 2008, the divorce rate has more than doubled from 2.6 to 5.5. That signals some danger and signals some things. I believe that marriage is hard work, but it is worth it. After every wedding comes a marriage. After every wedding comes a marriage. Marriage is sweet, I usually say that. That's the cutlery you use to eat it. And this is one of the many sessions I intend to share with husband. On this journey, I'll be hosting my husband and some other husbands just to share practical wisdom with husbands. My husband and these other husbands will be speaking on the woman in your house, the five kinds of fathers, the award-winning husband will be trashing infidelity as number one cause of divorce in marriage. Money matters and all that. It's going to be a monthly event. Dear Husband is a monthly event by God's grace. Virtual event. And it's going to be an exciting, exciting journey. So I begin by thanking all the husbands that are treating their wives right. Thank you. We are grateful. Thank you for being responsible husbands. Thank you for staying true to your vows. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for being great fathers. Thank you and thank you and thank you. We are so, so grateful for all that you do. We want you to know on behalf of all the wives in the world, we want you to know that we are truly, 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 truly grateful. Mm, you deserve awards. Thank you so very much. Today, as we start, dear husband, I want to share with you on ways to make your wife feel special. I'm going to be sharing like 14 or 15 ways with you. There are plenty more, plenty, plenty. But I'm going to be sharing this with you. Ways to make your wife feel special. Number one, leave special notes in places where your wife can find them. Yes. When last did you write a love letter to your wife? I'm not talking about sending a text message or, you know, a DM message. And I'm talking about you picking your pen and then writing maybe a card. It's not her birthday. No. It's not your wedding anniversary. No. It's not a special occasion. But you just picked a piece of paper and then you wrote. Or you picked a piece of chalk or her eyebrow pencil and then you wrote on the bathroom floor. So you want your wife to feel special. This is how to do it. Write and drop special notes. Things like, write things like, I can't get you out of my mind. You mean so much to me, babes. I love you. You can even draw the heart shape. Mention some things that you like, her hair, her lips, her eyeballs, whatever, mention, write it down and slot it. You may hide it under her pillow, you may put it in the dishwasher, make sure it's dry, you may put it in the kitchen, you may, you know, put it on the post it, put it on the fridge or somewhere. Places where you know she can find it. Sometimes my husband, I remember when we were newly married, he will, he will buy some things and put under the car seat. 
when he knows I'm going to be driving. And then he will call, hi darling, can you just, there's something, pick, pick something for me, please. And then I look at, oh my God, my God. Please do not allow romance to grow wings and fly out of your marriage. Leave special notes for your wife. She will feel good when she finds it. Number two, second way of making your wife feel special. Make special trips just to say, I love you. Sometimes my husband will leave our bedroom upstairs and he will come downstairs to the dining area and then he will whisper to my ears, I made this trip just to say, I love you. Can you imagine the way I'll be giggling, the little baby on my inside, oh, the little girl, oh, you mean it, you mean that? Please, husbands, dear husband, make special trips just to say, I love you. In the house, go from a room, you know, and go look for her where she is. Just tell her, I didn't come here to pick a bottle of water. I didn't come here to pick a bottle of Coke. I just came to say, I love you. Dear husband, ways to make your wife feel special. Number three, touch your wife regularly. Touch means a lot to a woman. It really does. In fact, according to Johns Hopkins magazine, each finger trip, each fingertip has more than 3,000 touch receptors. Can you imagine? Can you beat that? Many of which respond primarily to pressure. So each fingertip has more than 3,000 touch receptors. When someone is sick in the hospital, it's been discovered that when the person has people around him or her, the touch healing comes. So touch, when you touch your wife while you're driving, while you're in the whatever, you know, you just jammed, quote and unquote. She was coming from the kitchen, you were coming from the bathroom, and then you just jammed. Touch her and squeeze her hand, wink. Make your wife feel special. Psychologists say that a woman needs an average of 13 meaningful touches per day to live a normal life. It used to be eight, but now they say we have more needs. You want to make your wife feel special? I know you're doing very well, you're doing very good, but let's top it up. Let's take it to another level. Touch is important to a woman. While you are driving, don't just face only driving. I know, I know, but while you're driving, put a touch. Please, add a touch. Put your hand on her laps or her shoulders. Say something. Make her feel special. Women enjoy touches. Hold her hands, both in private and public. Squeeze it gently. Maybe while you're seeing a guest off or you're taking a walk, even if it's in the house, just do something that will make your wife know that she's special. Touch is the number three thing. The fourth way to make your wife feel special is be a secure man. Be a secure man. Dear husband, please listen very carefully to this. When a person gets married, it's only to a version of the person. Your wife was a version of herself, maybe a raw version. As time goes on, as years pass, she improves just like you on herself. So you constantly are married to a revised version. Your wife is not the old version of all things being equal. Of course, you know, I speak to these two wives too. But me a version of Kemi, you know what I mean? A version. Lives, she listens to skills, as she mingles with people, she is new. It's another version. And you have to understand that having become another version, an improved version, her life is going to be better. So you can just treat her the way you used to treat her. 
and this is where some men have problems. They just can't comprehend it that their wives have become wealthy. Their wives have become more popular. Their wives have now become, you know, the CEO or the, G, the GM or the ED or something. So they want to treat her the way they were treating her 30 years ago, 15 years ago and all that. That woman in your house has now become a general manager. Don't be threatened by this new version. Be secure in your own skin. You know, talking about the different types of personalities on this show, I'm going to be discussing that. Some people are D types, some are S types. You need to understand, you know, the dominant types, the support types. You must understand. Please allow your spouse to succeed. Allow your wife to excel. Be comfortable in your skin. Be happy with your wife's progress. It gives you honor, dear husband. Be secure. Do not insist that she must resign. I can't go. She must, you know. And then you want to pull her down and put her down and just to prove that no way I am the husband, I am the head. He doesn't add honor to you. You want your wife to feel special. You want your marriage to be exciting. Please be secure in your skin. Excited when your wife is manifesting. You know, sometime ago, my husband said to me, I don't want you to die under my shadow. I want you to be honored. Please improve on yourself. When I met him, I wasn't a graduate. He helped me. I went back to school for my first degree. Can I ever dishonor him? Can I ever forget that? Please invest into your wife and be very secure when she begins to excel. Let her know that she's, you are happy about her progress. Dear husband, ways to make your wife feel special. Number five, pay attention. Pay attention. Arsenal and Baka have become second wives in some marriages. Hey, ah, it, ah, you know. Hope is talking to you. She needs attention. You are so engrossed in what you are doing. So many husbands are guilty of this. Please pay attention when your wife is talking to you. Look straight into her eyeballs. Focus. That's not the time to be pinging someone or to be on Instagram. <laughs> Yes, yes, I've heard, I've heard. No woman wants that. Make your wife feel special. Concentrate. Pause the game you are playing and pay her attention. Sometimes it can be a life saving action. I'm telling you, it can be. As you round off telephone conversations, always remember to say, I love you to your wife. Pay attention. Let her know you concentrated on the conversation. The woman you treat like a coin will always treat you like a a king. It is a fact. Life is not governed by miracles. Life is governed by principles. Treat your wife like a queen and she will treat you like a king. Sometimes, just give a surprise call to tell her, Hello? I just called to let you know that you are special. Look, Olufunke, you, you, you are my dream. Hey, you've made her day. You have made her day. Create time for your wife. Dear husband, please make your wife feel special. Number six, do not use her past and her weaknesses against her. Hmm. Stop spilling private issues. Secrets kept with you. When you get married, you have invited someone to invade your privacy. We all, plus all of us, minus none of us, we all have done things we're not proud of at one point or another in our lives. So it's not right for you. It's a sign of him as a man, a husband. For you, when there is a misunderstanding, to be to be telling your wife, yes, yes, you want to hear what, Abby? Uh, you have started. The same thing your mother did, you remember? You remember you told me? The same thing your mother did that made you, that made your father to leave the house. You started, you have said, and no, it's not right at all. It's a sign of immaturity. Stop spilling private things. 
because of a little misunderstanding. Stop spilling secrets. Get in your hand just because you are angry. It is not right at all. Dear husband, make your wife special. You know you are also not perfect. She is. And marriage is between two forgivers. Definitely you will still get over it. Every song has an expiry date. And it's it's normal. But please conclude your anger when there is a misunderstanding and stop using your wife's weaknesses against her. Marriage is a covenant relationship and the two of you, you have your strengths, you have your weaknesses. Opposites get married. Psychologists have discovered that 94% of couples in the world are opposites. Even the remaining 6% are not exactly the same. Where you are weak, your husband is strong. Where your husband is weak, you're strong. Same thing as a man. You understand that. And please, I beg of you, because by the time the misunderstanding is over, don't never forget. Women are affected by what they hear, just like a man is affected by what he sees. Number six, listen to, listen to your wife. Show that you're interested in feelings. That woman too. My husband said, if you get married to a woman, just like Adam got to the rib. My husband said one day that the head is not older than the rib. They were created the same day. So once you propose marriage to a woman, you have told her to come up here, to come to your level. She can reason. She can reason. If you find her to flame, she will bring it out. She will bring it out. Listen to her. Sometimes man is rude. She's shouting. She's misbehaving. It's because she's trying to pass a message across. I don't subscribe to rudeness, no. But I'm telling you that your wife is trying to pass a message across. She's in pain. Hurting women hurt their husbands. She's saying, look, listen to me. Oh, no. I'm saying something. So she's becoming rude. She's misbehaving. She herself doesn't understand why she's doing that. If we can just learn to listen. Husbands, please listen to us. Many women are in pain. Many wives are in pain. They are crying. That's all king. But the way they are speaking does not allow you to understand what they are saying. If only to come down and listen to them. Say, now, I want to listen to you as a friend. Oh, you will save a lot of situations. Please listen to your wife's deepest feelings. Sometimes when a woman says no, she means yes. Don't touch me, don't touch me. It's a lie. It's a lie. She wants you to touch her. That's the time she wants you to grab her. Say, leave me alone, leave me alone. Before you know it, she starts crying. You see, it's her makeup. We're not lying. Please forgive us for that. And just bear with us. I beg of you. Number seven. The seventh way. Making your wife feel special. Remember special days. Don't be so busy that you forget special occasions. Birthdays, her birthday, the children's birthdays, anniversaries. These days are very important to women. Very, very important to women. Get her a beautiful card. Her special cards or notes, you know, under her pillow. Please don't give a get well card on a birthday. Some of you have heard me share this before. When we were newly married, first year or second year of our marriage, my husband forgot my birthday. I was pregnant and I was so, he, he, and that day was so busy at work. He didn't return home till about 8 p.m. Young wife, I was just there. And then he returns and I say, darling, welcome. He said, what, what, what happened? Because I was in tears. I said to him, darling, what's today's date? He says to me, today's date, today's date. Yeah, yes, 28th of January. I said, darling, hey, you forgot my party. I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He picked the khaki. He ran. I said, darling, don't go, don't go, it's late. He ran out. Don't go. He went. And then he returned with two items, a card and a gift. He returned with a pack of conflicts. And my husband loves conflicts. I don't like conflicts. So he was speaking his own love language to me. We'll talk about the, the love language, you know, later on. He was speaking his own la love language to me. And then I opened the card. Guess what? To my wife on our wedding anniversary. I just burst into the darling, it's my 
My man, he's not our wedding. And the man, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He picked, he said, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's why I said, don't give a get well card on a birthday. Now, there was a year my husband gave me six cards, six. He'd won with a check. Oh, I like such cards. He'd won under my pillow. When I woke up in the morning, he had made a video with the children. And then he was saying, hello, darling. Check under the pillow. Check the, this. Check the, that. I was going to six places. I was so excited. I was so happy. Some fabrics, some chairs, you know, and all that. Yeah. And I felt very, very special. Remember, any woman you treat like a queen will treat you like a king. Number seven, please respect your wife. I am whispering to say this. Respect your wife. In marriage, respect is mutual. Respect is mutual in marriage. I know some of you watching me right now are Africans. And in the African culture, the wife is probably nothing. That's not right at all. Thank God we're talking about equality now. No child is inferior. No sex is inferior to another. Respect is mutual. Respect your wife. I'm not saying that you should be prostrating, for instance, if you're a Yoruba person. So you have, no, but there's a way you express respect to your wife. It is wrong to be disrespectful to people, not to talk to your spouse. Very, very wrong. Respect. Be, be courteous. No shouting. Come here. Are you blind? I once watched a couple. The man bit elderly and all that. And their baby was, you know, was almost in danger. The, the girl, the little girl was crawling. The man was sitting there. All of us were there. And I heard the man say, are you blind? Can't you see the baby? And that woman ran. Oh my God. I felt very embarrassed. Please stop shouting. Stop shouting. Stop embarrassing your wife. Be friendly. Be accommodating. No transferred aggression. Respect her. This will shock you. I have a home for abuse women. One of the first few ladies we, we received, she said her husband would tell her when there was a mis there's any misunderstanding. Kneel down to God. Close your eyes. Face the wall and raise your hand. What? In a marriage relationship. She said, and I couldn't leave because I had three kids and I, did, I don't have anything. After 15 minutes, the man would say, stand up, you pig. Go fix something for you to eat. And when you're done, clean up. And wait for me in the room. Your wife is not a slave. Your wife is not a second-class citizen. Dear husband, respect your wife. Please respect your wife. You want to know the kind of marriage or marriages your children will have? Let's look at your own very well because your children don't have eject buttons. No, you are their greatest mentor. You are their best mentor. The way you treat your spouse is mostly the way your children will treat their own spouses. Respect your wife. Dear husband, stop shouting. They say, hi, Mr. Adejo, my voice is... Excuse me, sir, you have to learn. You have to learn. Please, lower your voice. Some of you, when you're talking, your neighbors will be hearing from my whatever. Please, lower your voice. I know some of you, you're, you're doing a lot, working so hard to help, you know, to sustain the home and all that. But that is not a justification. It is not a justification for disrespect. Don't only respect your wife. Please respect her parents. Respect her parents. Respect her siblings. Respect her family members. Yes, we've heard a lot. Hey, woman, take care of your mother-in-law. Take care of this, take care of that. It's also important for you husbands to respect. Please, it is a privilege to be wealthy. It's not because you are better. There is no great person anywhere. Only helped people. God helped you. And because God helped you does not mean that you should treat people anyhow. Even if you are the one the oxygen that they breathe. I beg of you. Respect them. Respect her, sibling, your, her siblings. Respect her parents. Respect, of course, her grandparents. And respect her friends. Respect her friends. There are things you don't say when her friends are there. There are things that are just meant for your privacy, just in your bedroom. There are things you don't say to your wife when, in fact, there are things you don't say to your wife at all. But there are things 
You don't say to your wife, when is a third party? Your children, the household, this and that. Even if you're angry, it's a sign of maturity to know how to manage your anger.